What's up YouTube? Welcome to Keycat Industries. On this channel I do TCG openings and anything Pokemon TCG related. So if you like that stuff, make sure to subscribe and stick around. Today I have a mail day and if you like this kind of thing, comment below and I'll do more of them. I say mail day, this is just what I've acquired over the week. I've also got some pickups of cards from my boy Rusty. Shout out to him. We'll be looking at these in more detail because they're vintage. And then I've got 10 cards here that I am going to be sending off to PSA so I've prepped them. And I thought it'd be nice to show you what cards I'll be sending. I'll do a whole submission video later. I can't remember what's in these because I'm building a deck. So I'm guessing a lot of this is just stuff in my deck. Oh, what's that? Oh no, that is a base set Raichu. Let's have a look at condition. Obviously, I've not bought this to be graded because, you know, there's no point unless it's going to get a 10, really, or 9. It's okay. Hollow is quite nice. Let's see the back. The back's quite good. That's That would get a PSA 6, possibly 7. So I'm quite happy with that. That's quite, that's really lovely. That's just for the binder. What's this? Oh. Okay, so I'm building a Venusaur deck. Um, I've tested it. I'll do a deck profile on that. If you want to see the deck profile, comment below and I will actually show you what I'm running. And it'll be nice to get some pointers from you guys or advice because sometimes you think you've covered all your bases or whatever and someone can just give you a nice little bit of advice online and you're like, yeah, fuck yeah, that was really helpful. So that would be cool. I have four of these, I think. Did I get four? I don't need four. I'm only going to run two, I think. No, I've got three. So I think I'm only going to run two because of rare candy, but just in case I don't get it. There's no card in there. There it is. Hey! Where's that come from? I don't remember ordering one of these. It's from eBay. Uh, I don't, The last time I bought one of these, I think, was maybe even four weeks ago so that's mega late delivery not complaining it's a nice card so there Mew EX lots of people don't really like the um, Paldean Fates but I think they're brilliant I think that well I think the whole Pokemon TCG scene is brilliant regardless of any set last one I think possibly I know what this is going to be maybe not Okay, so I've got this Mew EX, I've bought four of them for my binder, but I think I'm going to make a fun deck. Mew 2, I should say, because I really like photokinesis. Photokinesis, there we go because I used to run a Mewtwo deck just for fun back in the day. It was pretty good. I think it was one point it was meta for like one rotation. It wasn't the top ranked deck at the time, but this was like 2017, I want to say. Might have been 2016, but I really like that card. Really nice condition as well. And as I always say, Mewtwo is one of my favorite Pokemon. And then my Venusaurs, Venus Venusaurs, however you pronounce it. I've already got two. I might only run three because I've been playing it with four and I end up with way too many in my hand. So there's two of them there. And that's it for the mail. Now on to the pickups I just got. I'll get my I'll do my favourite one out of the lot last, but we'll go through them here. So we got a dark gold bat. They're all hollows. All sleeved. Not the greatest condition. But like I said, I knew they weren't they weren't going to be the best condition because I literally paid next to nothing for them. I can clean that up so there's no specs on there. And like I said, these are just for my binder. So one day, eventually I will sell them, but not for a while until I think they've gained any decent value. Speaking of the dirt stuff, I do have one of these cards, I think they're called. Card sort of boxes. If you want to see a video of me reviewing this, Comment below and I'll get that done for you guys. Dark Arbok. It's going to be a much nicer condition. Yeah, it's lovely condition. That's genuinely good condition. That's better than I expected, which is a win. Dark Doug Trio. 
Hollow is really good condition, a little bit of a scratch, but again, nothing, the back is really nice as well. A little bit of a crease there, nothing that worries me. Dark match um, Bit of a crease. Bit of a crease in the back there. Still nice, still look good in the binder. Dark Alakazam. This is one that um, I've had my eye on. These are normally battered. That, do you know what, that's really nice in the front. Some silvering. Really nice in the back and that will clean up very nicely, easily. Yeah, like that, like it a lot. Vaporeon. I just wanted this because it's old school. I like, I'm a old school card, vintage Pokemon card hoarder, as you guys probably know. So like, if there's any going, and they've, anyone local to me is selling them, I'm pretty much guaranteed that I'm gonna buy them because I hoard them, regardless of condition. I just think they look cool when you've got loads in a binder. I'll show you it now. But I've got another Raichu, because obviously I'm trying to get a double sheet. These are always battered. So if this is anything, well, it's better the condition than I was hoping for, actually. Much The back is much better condition than I was expecting. And it's always normally always the back that's fucked on these. Front's nice. A little bit of silvering there. But that is definitely going to help my page. And we've got the Dark Mark which was thrown in for free, really. Not Dark Mark, Mark from Fossil. Clean up, apart from that. Another binder worthy card. Bit of silver in there. Now, this is the one that I've got high hopes for. Do I, am I gonna, if it's good enough, I will grade it, yeah. But back is centered well from Mew. Ancient. And the front is pretty. The front is tasty as fuck, isn't it? Look at that. Right, that's that's going into one of these. Yeah, you know what time it is. Well, there, there is a it is a bit high at the top there. Could be at the bottom. Sort it. If it comes back as a nine, I'll crack it and then just put it back in the binder. <laughs> It'll be cool, actually, if you guys could guess what you think this will come back as. Because I think that's too much of a top there compared to the bottom. I think that's going to come back a nine. Now to the PSA cards I'm sending off. And this is just to show you what I'm sending. Obviously, I need at least 25 to get the bulk discount rate. And but you have to be a member as well. But this is what I've prepped so far. So we've got the wall turtle. The 151 Charizard, which is lovely. Figuroff, I can never say that in Japanese. Slitherwing, Slitherwing. Wigglytuff. Fortress. Gilmora. Gardevoir. Full Art Venusaur EX, which I think is stunning, and Mirrodon. Again, I've got, I've got at least like thirty more that I want to send off. So, if you want to see a full send off video, comment below. And that is it for today. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Make sure to check out NXT Wins. They do like geeky nerdy giveaways, and if you use Geek Out code, Geek Out code. If you use the code. Geek out 15, you'll get 15% off your first order. Plus, I get a little bit of a kickback from that as well. So that'd be awesome if you do fancy having a bit of a flutter on something fun and nerdy. That's your place to go. Anyway, catch you guys later. And remember, as always, don't freak out. Geek out.